Your ego is something else. Yeah, well, you call it ego. I call it reality. I guess I missed the memo declaring you the chosen one. Not the chosen one, the only one. Chandler is my birthright. Your own father didn't see it that way. Yeah, my father was angry because his wife wanted me and not him. Well, does that sound familiar? Go to hell. My father used you to get back at me. He actually believed you could take his place. Mm. There's no way you could ever fill Adam's shoes. Unlike you, filling Adam Chandler's shoes isn't my lifelong destiny. I'm my own man. Yeah. Look where that got you. I guess we can't all be as happy as you, Jr. On the brink of a nasty custody battle, another failed marriage. That has nothing to do with that this. Has everything to do with this. Because for you, it's all the same. The company, your son, Annie, these are all things to be acquired. And I can have all three of them. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So why don't you go back to doing what you're good at, being Stuart's son. The nice guy with all the nice shiny goals. I'm here to see Scott. Is he home? You don't get to tell me who I am, JR. You don't get to tell me where I belong. I may not have been born into this family, but on my worst day, I'm more of a Chandler than you. Care to put your DNA up to the test? Look around you, JR. We're not in the schoolyard anymore. You can't taunt me and break me down like you did, Annie. Well, I didn't break Annie, but I can break you. Yeah. You do your worst. You do your worst. This family needs me. This company needs me. I'm not going anywhere. Since when? Since I saved its ass. And yours. And Colby's and AJ's father put me in charge of this company to oh. protect it from you, and that's exactly what I did. Really? Yeah. You're being serious right now. You really believe that you protected this place? What would you call it? This company is doing better than it has in years. I brought Chandler back from the brink. Putting the entire Chandler Empire risk by stealing it from a dead man. <clears throat> I just, I just keep going back to that moment, you know? Why did I give in? Why couldn't I just resist? Listen, you weren't the only one in that bed. JR, he is a hard guy to say no to. Trust me, I know. But, but why? What's so damn special about him? You already know the answer to that question. I, I hated him. Like, I honestly, honestly hated him. He has ruined my life twice. He is the cause of two failed marriages. Ugh, I, should, I should want him to suffer. I should want to never see him again for the rest of my life. So how, how is it possible that I could actually still want him? Two in the middle of something? Nothing important. Something we can do for you, Caitlin? Actually, I came to talk to your cuz. What about? I got your message. Want to see how it went in Europe? Europe? Europe went fine. Just fine. I got some reports for you to look over. I'll go get them. If you're here to dig up dirt to use in court, my son stays here, you got that? I don't care how good of an attorney you were back in the day. My lawyers are gonna eat you alive. Mm. We'll see. Here you go. All right, thank you. <clears throat> I'll look it over and uh, we'll talk tomorrow. You got it, I'll call you in the morning, okay? Oh. I'm firing that maid for letting him in. He almost heard something about you stealing Uncle Palmer's nanotech project. If that would have happened, Chandler would have been done. So he's representing Marissa in the custody case, huh? Yeah. I'm not worried. Oh. 
And I wonder what he'd say if he knew you slept with my wife. You mean the way that you slept with mine? No. You were so proud of yourself when I walked in on you tonight. But you're gonna lose, JR. Your company, your son, everything that you feel like you're entitled to. And I'm gonna make that happen. <laughs>